Good afternoon, Temple Israel. We're already in the month of August. Can you believe it? The summer is about to come to a close. Oh my God, September is around the corner and school starts again. We're going to be going back to work. It's that time of renewal. The Jewish months are effectively the same. In one month, we're essentially in a couple of days, our new year is coming around the corner. And it's a time of renewal and reflection for us as well. Before we enter the month to come, Elul, we're still in the month of Av. And I just thought about recently how Av in Hebrew means father. Another term for the month is Menachem Av, the, um, which translate as the comforting father or parent. Elul is similar in that it can be translated as an acronym. Ani dodi v'dodi li. I, my beloved, my beloved is mine. Essentially, in these two months, we're ending Av, beginning Elul, we're ending a month that reminds us of a parent, and we're entering a month that reminds us of a beloved one, a partner. There are two different metaphors for God that we have at this time of year to remind us, perhaps, of who it is time to return to. Is it a time to make the shuva, to return to a parent, to apologize? Is it a time to make the shuva? to a loved one, to a partner, to apologize over what happened the past year. Of course, these are just two categories. We don't have them all. Siblings, friends, members of our community. So this is a time where we all come together to think about how we can begin this process of teshuva. So I invite you to not be alone in this, on this dynamic change from August to September, from Av to Elul, Come back to the community, return to us, and we'll be joining you on this path towards the Shuva, towards return. This Friday, we have our family Oneg after services, and we can't wait to see you there. And I'll look forward to wishing you a Chodesh Tov, a good month. Take care.